Today we'll discuss a shortcut which is used in the problems where difference of difference is constant. So you'll find many a problems in which you'll be given a series such as A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. Now in this series, if we find their difference, so A2 minus A1 is D1, A3 minus A2 is D2, A4 minus A3 is D3, A5 minus A4 is D4. So this is your difference series. And if we take difference of difference, that is D2 minus D1 as D, D3 minus D2 as D, and D4 minus D3 is D. So in this case, difference of difference is constant. So we get many cases in which difference of difference will be constant. Now, in this case, we know that its nth term will be given by a quadratic term. So it will be an square plus bn plus c. Now, first we'll look at its standard way of solving the question and then we look at the shortcut. Now, in order to find a, b, c, we'll need to find three equations. So what we'll do is we'll put n as 1 and if we put n as 1, we get a plus b plus c and it will be equal to t1 and t1 is nothing but its first term. So it will be this a1. Now if we put n as 2, we get this as 4a plus 2b plus c and it is t2 and t2 is your second term which is a2. And if we put n as 3, so we get this as 9a plus 3b plus c and that will be equal to a3. So now we have three equations and three unknowns. We need to find the value of a, b and c. Now what we'll do is we'll subtract first from second, we get 3a plus b equals a2 minus a1 and a2 minus a1 is nothing but d1. In the same way, we can subtract second from third, we'll get 5a plus b and that'll be equal to a3 minus a2 and that'll be equal to d2. Now we have equations in a and b. In order to find this a, we'll subtract this first equation from second. So from here we can write 2a equals d2 minus d1 and d2 minus d1 is nothing but d. Now what is the shortcut here? Shortcut here is once we have this series, we can find their difference and we can find their successive differences. Now this constant difference d, it is nothing but 2a. So we'll simply write this as 2a. Now d1 is nothing but 3a plus b. So we'll write this as 3a plus b and here this a1 is a plus b plus c. So here this is a plus b plus c. So from here we'll get the value of a and if we put the value of a here we'll get the value of b and from a and b we can get the value of c. Now let us take one example. Say for example we are given the sequence which is 6, 11, 18, 27, 38, 51. We need to find its nth term. Now if we take the difference 11 minus 6 is 5, 18 minus 11 is 7, 27 minus 18 is 9, 38 minus 27 is 11 and 51 minus 38 is 13. Now if we take the difference, this is 2, this is 2, this is 2 and this is 2, which means difference of difference is constant. Now we'll use the shortcut directly. Now this is 2a, this is 3a plus b and this is a plus b plus c. Now clearly a is 1 and if we put a as 1 here, we get b as 2 and if you put a and b as 1 and 2 then value of c is 3. So nth term of the sequence it will be simply n square plus 2n plus 3. Let us take another example. We are given the series 6, 13, 22, 33. Now 13 minus 6 is 7, 22 minus 13 is 9, 33 minus 22 is 11. Now again 9 minus 7 2, 11 minus 9 2. So we can write 2a as 2. Now this is 3a plus b, it is equal to 7. And a plus b plus c, it is equal to 6. Now clearly a is 1. And if we put a as 1, we get b as 4. And if a and b are 1 and 4, value of c is 1. So value of c, it will be 1. So nth term for this series, it will be n square plus 4n plus 1. And that is the answer to this question. Now let us take another question. And here we need to find the sum of the series up to infinite terms. Now what we do is we'll find sum up to n terms. Now in the numerator we have the series 2, 6, 12 and 20 and so on. We'll write the differences. 
6 minus 2, 4. 12 minus 6, 6. 20 minus 12, 8. Now this is 2 and this is 2. Now we can use the shortcut. This is 2a. This is 3a plus b. And this is a plus b plus c. Now clearly a is 1. And if you put a as 1, we get b as 1. And if you put a and b as 1, we get c as 0. So its nth term will be n square plus n. Now in order to solve this question, we have to write general term of the series. It is tr and it will be in the numerator we will have r square plus r. In the first term it is 1 cube, second term it is 1 cube plus 2 cube. So it will be 1 cube plus 2 cube up to r cube. Now we can write this as tr equals r into r plus 1 and this is r r plus 1 by 2 whole square. As r r plus 1 we cancel so it will be 4 upon r r plus 1 which we can also write as tr equals 4 and this is 1 upon r minus 1 upon r plus 1. Now we need to find sum of n terms. So Sn it will be 4. Now we put T as 1, it will be 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 2. If we put T as 2, it will be 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 3. 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 4. I will continue up to 1 upon n minus 1 upon n plus 1. Now here 1 by 2, 1 by 3 will cancel. So what we will get is Sn equals 4 into 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 which is 4n upon n plus 1. Now we need to find sum up to infinite. Now S infinity is limit n tends to infinite Sn. Now here highest power of n is 1. So its answer is 4 upon 1 which is simply 4. And that is the answer to this question.